setting new standards in podcast excellence. You have joined the WBT, fully focused on business and taxes. Here is your host, Michael Lodge. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. And welcome to the WBT. This is my first cap, first podcast for 2019. Let me tell you, 2018 was a semi-good year. Business started to pick up. Companies began to expand. People began to make money after a long period of time. So we've had two years of solid business growth. I was looking back at some of the things that I said I was going to do in 2018. And one of them was to write a book. The second one was to finish this stupid porch that I began back in November of 2017. And then uh, uh, reforming and revamping my, my firm. I decided that, you know, I... I In order to really enjoy what I'm doing, I need to do what I like. So business coaching, I mean, working with businesses and getting them straight was really what I wanted to do. So I started two years ago in 2016, getting my clients ramped up for the fact that I was no longer going to really support individual tax returns. I was just going to focus on business tax returns and also business coaching and business advisory work. And since I've been doing that, I have really enjoyed what I'm doing. I, I, I never know what's going to happen every single day I, that I go into my office and talk with clients. So it's fun. I've been doing this since 1984. In fact, that is what I started this firm as, was a business advisory firm, taking on projects that no one else wanted to do. That's what I've always done. So now I've eliminated the majority of my individual tax returns, and now I just do uh, the business returns. And I feel good about it. You know, every once in a while you need to revamp your company and do what you need to do and focus on that. If you're focusing on too many things, you get kind of frazzled and you're going in too many directions. And that's what I found myself doing. So now I'm back into the the business advisory work, coaching, and and, uh, tax work. It all goes together. The other thing is is I did finish my book, and it did go to publishing, and it's now on Amazon.com. So if you want to go there, it's called Ethically Thinking by Michael Lodge at Amazon.com. Pick it up. It's an easy read. And basically that book, I, I felt that I needed to sit down and write a book on incidents and experiences of unethical behavior that has touched my life. And I thought if I wrote it down, I could then get some of those feelings off my chest, and it really did work. So I put it into book form, published it through Lodging Company, my firm, and uh, now we have our first book out, and we have our second book coming, which is about muddy waters and what business can become if they don't watch what, what what they're doing. So I accomplished those two things, which were on my high agenda list. And the, and the third one was to finish this porch. Well, this porch has been a porch from hell. I went, I, I took over this house. I took it over through a uh, death of my mom. It really needed work. I mean, it inside and out, it just was had gone to pieces. <clears throat> so I did the majority of the inside, and then I started on the outside, and I decided to build a porch the length of my of my house and to give it a southern feel because it's in South Carolina. Well, I started that in November of 2017 and had to fire the contractor in March of 2018 because he had completely, completely built a porch that was not safe. So I had to take it over myself. And so all summer long, up until the winter months when it started snowing here, 
I worked on this porch. And it's pretty much, it's 91% done. All I need to do is finish the, the remaining portion of the middle roof on top and the side work on the, on the porch. And then I'm done. So I got at least 91% of the project done. Because I had to literally tear this deck, this porch down to ground zero because it was so badly put together. It could it wasn't even passing inspection. So when I fired him I took it on myself and I tell you I studied porch design and, and read every single thing and, and saw everything on YouTube. Thank God for YouTube, I'm telling you, that really helps so much. And I was able to put this porch back together again. <clears throat> now it's become now uh, almost a twenty five thousand dollar deck. <laughs> <laughs> I paid the original contractor eleven thousand dollars, and he never finished it, and I had to fire him. So I took over, and when I had to replace everything, rebuild everything from scratch, that cost me just in materials alone over another eleven thousand dollars with labor and everything else, and that my including my labor. But I learned something, and that is, if you want to get something done, learn it and do it yourself. Unless you can find a really good contractor that you can that you can trust, and I'm I'm sorry, but in southern Ca in southern uh, South Carolina, I just have not found that trust yet. Hopefully, I will because I've got a lot more work to get done on this house before I can get rid of it. This is a big property, and for one person to take care of two acres plus a house plus construction plus a business, I tell you, it's worn me down. I become an old man. <laughs> <laughs> in, in less than than a year. Then I started looking at 2019 and what I still need to do and what I still need to accomplish. And there are so many small things that can get done very quickly, which I'm working on right now. And once I get those small things completed, then I can focus on the bigger portion of the firm and really push everything that we're doing and doing a lot more um, education events and uh, podcasts and everything else. I haven't done a podcast in over a month now. And, and the reason why is because with the new tax laws that came about, a lot of things changed, which means that all of the forms we've been using in the past for our clients are no longer good. Because the majority of the itemized deductions and the home expense and the employee business expense, it's all gone. Every bit of it's gone. So that changes a lot of things because a lot of people would bring in a lot of items for especially nurses. They have their shoes. They have their uniforms. They have their uh, everything that they use, their stethoscope and everything that they could deduct and even continuing education classes that they could deduct. It's all gone now. So all of that had to be wiped off, and we had to literally change the itemized deductions where it's very simple now, where it's just your medical expenses, your home your home mortgage, and there's some rules on that, and uh, charitable deductions, and that is about it. <clears throat> so things change, the forms change, and that means that everything is now that used to be so complicated – have now been sectionalized. So now there's a form for itemized deductions, a very short form. You can do it in 10 seconds if you know all of, all of your numbers. We have a new form for realtors so that we can track. It gives them a clearer hit list of what they need to attach or think about as an expense item for their business. And it's a very good one. Then we have Schedule C for business or profession, those of you who still are a sole proprietorship. And then we have our business, our LLCs, our corporations, C-Corps, everything else. We have a special form for them also to fill out this year, as well as them giving us uh, financial statements and um, for us to work off because we need those very badly to create a tax return. So 2018 was a good year. 2019 is starting to out to be a really good year. A lot of positive feedback from clients and everybody else. 
We're into our second book. I'm into my second book, and that should be coming out probably at the end of November or mid-time February. It's a more detailed book because it's more historical of what we're looking at in the face of scams and cons and everything else. And I tell you, when I my first two chapters so far is about Charles Ponzi. Now that is an interesting story all by itself. Because if you look at the individual Ponzi, you can pretty much tell and read what a, what a scam is. So Ponzi was interesting, and I'm still writing on him. I, I haven't stopped writing on him because there were so many aspects of his life that you can pretty much develop a checklist of what a scammer is or what a con this is. And just by listening to their story and listening to the Ponzi story, you can pretty much, when you listen to them now, and I've seen a lot of them on Instagram and, and uh, YouTube and Facebook who are pushing their programs, and you can literally tell just by looking at it that no one's going to make any money on this except them. And that is the big aspect that I want to keep you guys out there knowing that you have to keep your eyes and ears and your smeller <laughs> on alert at all time because it happens all around us. And we're not paying enough attention. And we get too caught up in the greed portion where people are trying to sell us that you are going to become rich. If they are trying so hard on the fact that you are going to become rich, you can pretty much tell there's a problem. And that problem is greed. And there's a con going on, or a scam of some type going on. So that's it for me at the moment for 2018 is done with. 2019, we're moving on forward. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you, all of you businesses, small businesses, sole proprietorships, LLCs, C-Corps, S-Corps, whatever you are. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my office or sending me your documents, and I will start working on your tax return. I look forward to this. I really always look forward to something that I'm enjoying and tax season when I'm working just with my business clients. It's a lot of fun. Now, we're still supporting individual returns if you file your business tax return with us. But if you're not, we're not, we're not supporting the, uh, the uh, individual unless you have a Schedule C for business or profession. We will do it then. 2018. It's going to be a good year, and I look forward to it. I hope that every single one of you are looking forward to it, and you have this positive feeling in your heart, your mind, and your soul that 2019 is going to be your, your year, and it's going to be my year. So let's push forward for 2019. I look forward to working with every single one of you. Keep listening to my podcast. We'll be doing them every single day now. We're, caught, we're almost all caught up. I'll, I may miss a couple of Two or three days because I will be traveling across the United States. I'm driving across uh, to work in my Burbank office. And I always do that because I want to have my car over there. If I rent a car, it's really expensive. It's much cheaper just driving the car over there. So anyway, that is it for today. If you have any questions, send me an email at mlodge at mlodge-co.com. And I'll be more than happy to respond to any question that you may have. Everybody go out. Have a great year. I'll talk with you soon. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. World of Business and Taxes. Double